folks, welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. You know what I could really go for right now? Some tasty pancakes. I can see them now. Mm -mm -mm. So tasty. Do you want to learn how to create that cheesy flashback effect? Well, keep watching and I'm going to show you. Okay, let's dive into the video. So the first thing I want you to do is to download these harp sound effects. You can find them in the description below. So the first thing I want to do is to place these harp sound effects because they're going to help guide the effect that we're making today. So we have the up and the down. We're going to drag the up version onto the screen. And we're going to place it right around here. I can see them now. Maybe I'll start it a little earlier. I can see them now. Okay, so I'm happy with that timing. I'm just gonna add these constant powers to um, help fade it in and out a bit. And then I'm going to add the down version. Mm -hmm. So tasty. You. Mm -hmm. So tasty. You wanna learn? Okay, so I am happy with that placement. So play around with the placement of the sound effects and make sure you get it to where you want it to be. And we don't want it to overpower our voice here. So I'm gonna just bring it down to a negative eight. The pancakes, I can see them now. Mm -mm -mm. So tasty. Okay, cool. I'm happy with how that looks. Now we're going to go into the effects and search for a wave warp. We're just going to select the video file we want to add it to, and then we're going to double click the effect. So we're going to adjust. Oh, this is such a good look for me. Don't I look fantastic here? <laughs> Anyways, we are going to change these effect controls a little bit. We're going to change the height to 90. We're going to change the width to 100. We're going to change the direction to 180. And then we're going to change the pinning to all edges. And that's so it covers the entire screen. Again, another great look for me. And then we are going to kind of time out this animation. So let's move the cursor to the end. And then right where the edit is, and we're gonna click the video, and we're gonna make a keyframe here, right at 90. And then I'm gonna move the cursor to the beginning, maybe around here. We're gonna make another keyframe and make that zero. So it's gonna go from zero to 90. So that's when the wave warp starts. Tasty pancakes, I can see them now. So that's the first part of that animation. Make sure you play around with these keyframes, get it to a place you're happy with. I'm going to select this effect and hit Command C to copy the effect and then paste this effect onto my second video here by hitting Command V. And for PC users, that is Control C and Control V. We're gonna hit this stopwatch to just undo the keyframes here. And then we're going to, again, set more keyframes. We're going to set the wave height to 90. We're going to make a keyframe. We're gonna move this cursor down to the end, to about here where the harp sound effect kind of ends. And we're gonna make another keyframe and change that to zero. So this is what it should look like so far. Some tasty pancakes. I can see them now. So that looks great. We're gonna pretty much do the same thing when the flashback ends, but it's gonna be in reverse. So let's move our cursor to the beginning of this sound effect, this second sound effect, and we're gonna make a keyframe at zero, perfect. We're gonna move the cursor to the edit point. We're gonna select this video, and then we're gonna make another keyframe at 90. So it's gonna go from zero to 90 here. And then we're going to, again, take this wave warp effect, copy and paste it to this next video here. We're going to undo these animations. And then we're going to, yes, start at 90, make a keyframe. 
and then have it end around here, make a keyframe and set it to zero. So these keyframes, you're probably gonna have to play around with. You're not gonna get it right the first time. So just watch it back and make sure you're happy with the placement of the keyframes. So the finishing touch here is to create a color mat because we want it to have a dip to white look to it. Go ahead and go back to your project panel. We're gonna right click in here, go to new item, color mat. Press okay. And then we're gonna set this to a nice white. Press okay white mat. Okay, cool. So now we're going to drag this onto the timeline and we're going to adjust it. So it starts again, where the sound effects begins and ends around here. Again, you can play with this later. We're going to add a cross dissolve to the beginning and end of this mat. So go into effects and search for cross dissolve. And we're going to bring that to the beginning and end of this effect. And we're going to just drag this out, drag this out, see how this looks. I can see them now. So you're going to have to meddle around with this. I think I'm going to make this end a little shorter here. So once you're happy with that white mat, we're going to just take this same white mat and copy it over here. And you can do that by holding down option on your keyboard and dragging the mat across. Now for PC users, this is alt that you're holding down, not option. So I'm going to again, arrange this in a way that pleases me. Make some final adjustments to the keyframes, to the color mat, make sure it is where you want it to be. Now, isn't it crazy how good these elements work together? We got that lovely harp sound effect. We got that wave warp. We got a nice dip to white and together we make a cheesy flashback effect. You know what I could really go for right now? Some tasty pancakes. I can see them now. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. Are there other creative effects that you want me to do a tutorial on? Well, let me know in the comments below. Have a great day, folks.